welcome to HTML4 and this is part 19 and we are continuing with tables and tables in action part 2 so what we saw last time uh, was this was the final structure what we had planned alright and this is where we left off right so today we need to finish the middle portion right so let's do that quickly and <coughs> now you know the table so it it's one that difficult for you guys to understand how that's done right so basically what I need to do is I need to add a few more things I'm sorry <coughs> all space R let me make this guy a bit wide so you guys can see what I'm doing alright so let's time for a content so if I start with my content I'll copy the above guy alright and I'll paste in here and this time I'll give the color as light blue I'll take out the height for now I don't want the height now and this would be now I need if you look at the structure right this is this whole thing this whole thing is a complete table and it has the three different section <coughs> so what I'm planning to do is I'm going to use three TDs so first I'll show you how they look like okay so they are navigation links alright so cool copy paste paste navigation link then this guy would be <coughs> the main content main content oopsie and in the end this guy would be like uh, you know upcoming news whoops yes all right so let's preview that in this area and as you can see you have the structure in place right <coughs> and now if you compare this one and this one we are almost there right all we need to do is we need to give him a, some bit of height all right so let's do that let's give him a height of let's say I'm doing this at the TR level because it should affect everyone the height I'm planning is 250 pixel and it's a part of the style tag the CSS and let's watch the magic and there you go you have created the exact complete you know the as we planned earlier and this is what it looks like so this is pretty cool but there's only one problem in most of the website when you see the navigation links and upcoming news doesn't take too much space so we need to control the space so we can go like this with equal to I'll say I want this guy to be 20% only I'll copy this guy control C get down control V and control V so what I'm doing is I'm doing this by 60 20 20 so this guy would be 20 this guy would be 20 and this guy would be 60 and total is 100 <coughs> and that's what we want right so let me hit the refresh and you can see the difference now <coughs> now you got like a bunch of space where you can write your shitty stuff over here you can set up your navigation links your upcoming news so this whole thing is ready now I'm, I'm spending time over here with tables because we are going to build you know something a website which I haven't planned yet but uh, we are going to do the same using the tables because this is the beginners tutorial right so we'll go by that now uh, you have the complete idea how to work with tables you know everything height width control row span call span a lot of things right plus on the internet uh, besides me you can find a lot of help on tables right so in the next <coughs> video I will show you the same thing can be done using the dev tag all right and most of the cases uh, when you have the website you know when you have the website let's say very complex in that case uh, you should always use the div tags and I mean uh, the places where I've worked uh, in my past and in the current mostly I we go by the div tag because the div tag is an awesome tag but it's a bit complicated and it's a little hazy to understand but once you know the dev tag you feel like like uh, you know I mean this is the best thing if I want to design something 
right but at the very same side uh, if uh, sometime it happens like you know if you have something small and very much scalable which is not very complex you know and you can manage it very well in that case you know the tables are recommended so it's always again your choice I'm not saying uh, to use what you're comfortable with uh, I'm saying like if your site is not too complex always go with the tables uh, I mean it doesn't have you know a lot of data here and there so tables are, are very flexible in that case you got something complex then there is a way out right and I will try to create some demo on how the dev works in the next tutorial and dev is really interesting so I hope to see you there so if this video helps you in some way uh, then please subscribe to my channel um, share this video with your friends and thank you for watching this good night and take care